thought I'd make a short video. Uh, we've retrofitted some VFDs into an old custom craft high low pressure system where basically your high and low are all pressure systems are all done through the pumps and uh, whenever you go into a low pressure uh, such as a tire engine cleaner uh, there would be a bypass valve that would energize and relieve the pressure down to a lower pressure but the motor still spinning full speed and that valve system has just been a pain over the years sometimes they engage sometimes they don't and uh, we're looking for a little higher tech solution to it so I ordered some VFDs for three horsepower motors are only $120 or so off of eBay not sure about their durability yet but we're gonna put it in two bays and give it a shot uh, you can see basically how it used to be before just a traditional two contactors and uh, same sort of system over here basically relocated the transformers over to the other side and rewired it up for the VFDs I also had to put two 24 volt AC relays per VFD one to trigger it to go into forward motion and the second relay to trigger it to go into a uh, low pressure mode and what I found after doing this uh, we assumed that we would save some energy because the pump could be turning much slower without using the bypass valve we'll just slow down the engine speed uh, to regulate the pressure whenever it's in low pressure mode saving some load and usage off the motor and the pump and also giving a true soft start to make it easier on the motor when it starts up and uh, what we found was that even on high pressure we're able to slow down the motor to about 1400 rpm versus 1700 rpm and still maintain uh, 1400 psi out in the bay so there should be some energy savings there hopefully and I'll trigger this to show you it'll start off in high pressure mode uh, and purge and then switch down into low pressure mode and just uh, notice the RPMs that it's running and how much smoother it would run than a traditional contactor setup. Slow ramp up to 1300 RPMs. And that 1300 RPMs we're still maintaining. I do have the, the gun uh, with a zip tie on it outside to, and that's full flow. Now that it's purged the line, it's dropped down to that gauge is a little off to about 200 psi for low pressure mode, and you can see that uh, we're running 430 RPMs there, and you can it's so slow you can watch the belt move. So I'm assuming there's going to be some electrical savings and some mechanical wear save from using this type of setup. Uh, only downside that I could possibly see is if these VFDs are unreliable so I'm just gonna try it in two bays and it's still pretty hot out here in Oklahoma this time of year so we'll see how they hold up and if they hold up pretty good then go ahead and put it in all the bays but uh, I was pretty excited to have a high-tech solution rather than this horrid old low pressure kick down valve that would suck air and leak and wear out and because it's on the high pressure side uh, this valve right here whenever it would kick in to low pressure would get really sticky and it get worn out really fast because of the pulsations especially if you have a cavitated head would uh, make the diaphragm wiggle up and down in there and wear the bore out very quickly and those valves are a hundred bucks a piece so you don't want to be replacing those all the time I'd much rather have it quieter and smoother and hopefully that's going to be the case